welcome to help on this activity. First of all, just take the table, copy and paste it in an Excel document. Click on the, the um, area you're going to insert in the graph. So I'm going to click on this data, right? So I'm going to click on that data. After I click and I select that data, I go to Insert. I'm going to go to Scatter Chart. So I'm going to take this type of da data. And look, it comes up with a really weird graph, and that's OK. So you're going to, this is not your graph. Next, what you have to do is you either can right click, but if you have a Mac, you can't right click. So I'm going to go up here under Chart Tools under Design. It's Select Data. And on a Mac or on everything else, it's just saying it. So it has a series of data that didn't have anything. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and click on um, edit for my series one. I'm going to call this um, my um, demand curve. So I'm going to call it demand curve. My x values, remember quantity is on x, so I'll go the quantity demand and values go on x, so I select those values. The y values take all that out, and my y values are my price values, right? And I say OK, and that's part. I'm going to go ahead and remove this next series two, series three. So just click on remove. I'm going to edit. I'm going to call this my supply curve. I am going to then select on my supply curve the quantity supply, right? So I want those numbers. And again, the Y values are my price values, the same price values. I say OK. I say OK. And here is my demand and my supply curve. Boy, it's kind of a funny looking curve. This is going to be the um, chocolate. We're going to call the chart the chocolate, right? Chocolate bars. You can click on that and say chocolate bars, right? You can make it pretty, right? If you right click or you want to go ahead into format, you can make it look pretty. Design formats, like you can select all sorts of designs. And, you know, if you want to go ahead and make it pretty. Um, and then, um, then you're going to go ahead and try to note equilibrium. Equilibrium is really hard to find on this graph. Um, so it's right here. I just want you to mark it. OK. OK. And you are done. So well, if you want to mark equilibrium, let's go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert a shape for equilibrium. So I'm going to take this and select a curve and select a shape. That's not as important, but that's equilibrium right where the two curves intersect. Once you have this done, you can either go into your snipping tool, right? Right? And copy and paste it into your Word document so you can answer the questions. You can do a print screen, right? If I do snipping tool, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, oops, I didn't want to show you that. Um, <laughs> snipping tool. I click on my snipping tool and I say new snip, right? I'm going to select the graph, so I can just copy and paste it that way. I can just click on the graph and copy and paste it so I have the image that way, right? That's a new snip. That's how you make a snip and save the file. Just say File Save As. Or you can just go ahead and you can go ahead and right click or you can just click on the box, go home and say Copy and Paste in a Word document. And you are done.